It's finally time for another football season here in the Diocese of Brooklyn. But right from the start, this season is bound to have a different feel as we get underway. For the first time in 62 years, legendary coach Vince O'Connor will not be roaming the sidelines for the St. Francis Prep Terriers varsity football team. O'Connor passed away at the age of 85 this past winter, but the program, led by new head coach Rich Carroll, is poised to move on. Well, there's definitely certain things that, that is very noticeable that coach isn't here. You know, we stop, we take our moments, we talk about coach. The first day we stopped, we, we said a prayer, and we, we, we all know he's here, and you, you feel his energy out here. Carroll served as the main assistant coach under O'Connor for the past six seasons, so the transition process has been a smooth one. We've been working hard, a lot of hours in the weight room, eight months. We're going to try to dedicate this season to Coach O'Connor. Transition's been good, you know, everything's flowing. I like the way the season's looking. You know, everyone's working hard, everyone's got a good attitude so far, so we're really looking forward to this year. Coach Carroll's been great to everyone. He's always known me ever since I was a freshman. He said I had a lot of potential. He's waiting for me to move out to varsity, and uh, he's treated us well. He works us, pushes us, and we're going to have a good season. Though Coach O'Connor may not be here physically, his spirit has been forever ingrained in the St. Francis Prep football tradition. The accolades for O'Connor piled up over the years, but he'll always be remembered for the individual approach he took with every player in his program. Every time he would come down to practice, he would talk to every individual player. Everyone mattered to him. I talked to him a couple of times. He's really nice. I already has a lot of successful seasons under his belt, and he stayed here and decided to watch us. It's, like, it's encouraging, too. Like, he shows how much he really cares about the program. I always carry the way he just pushed everyone. He just looked at you, gave you this look, and you knew that you wanted to work hard for him every single day. He was always here, even when he didn't want to be here. There were some days, it's, it was snowed one time, he was still out here at Umbrella. He just cheered you on, he looked at you, he gave you a little, gave you a little fist pump. Carroll, of course, has some pretty big shoes to fill, but he's eager to integrate his own coaching style with that of the late legend O'Connor. I find that really in our program, and, and we will continue this, is really about building character. You know, building the character of the young men because football will end for every one of these young men. But when you could teach them character, how to do the right thing, how to be humble, all those different little characteristics that will make them great men in the future and anywhere they go in their life. Coach O'Connor will certainly be looking down on the Terriers this fall. And between that influence and the guidance of Coach Carroll, St. Francis Prep will be in great hands this upcoming season. Reporting for Currents, I'm Jim Mancari.